Well, again, this goes back to players creating value for themselves. Um, I, I always talk to players about, you know, I spent eight years in the NFL, so that means I spent, I sat through eight drafts, which meant it's not just a draft, it's two weeks of preparing for the draft and then two more weeks of getting questions answered and then two more weeks of preparing for the draft. So I'm talking about listening to a thousand draft reports. And I tell our players all the time, the two most compelling words in a draft report is and and but. All right, so they read the player and I'll take a defensive back. All right, he's got quick feet, change of direction, yeah, good long speed, can play man to man. He's a good tackler, he's got toughness got really good ball judgment and really good ball skills. And he's a good person. He was a leader on the team. He graduated from school. Coaches loved him. Read the same player, but he had a positive drug test. Uh, he had a domestic violence incident with his girlfriend. He got in a fight to borrow when he's a freshman. Strength coach said he wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. Uh, who, who, who do you want on your team? and or but. All right, so what I tell players is you don't realize that as soon as you apply for a job, as soon as you put your name in for the draft, people are looking for reasons not to pick you. They're looking for reasons not to hire you. So don't give anybody a reason to say but. It's the only way that you can create value for yourself. So that and and but what came after that had nothing to do with what the player was, but it had a significant impact on where the player got picked. So this is an analogy that I use all the time with players to try to get them under, to understand how do I create value for myself in my future for what I want to accomplish? And it goes right back to, yeah, I might have to edit my behavior a little bit. You know, when